Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to solo retrieve, fuck, repair the shelter. So obviously my commander had base cowed, increased them walls by 84%. My team perk is boom base to increase my crit rating by 15 on my plasmatic discharges and storm king draft, which is awesome. And even damage by 12%. And I have breakbeat wildcat to activate the perk. Not, 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 not using her perk. Uh, what did I have main stage Quinn to act again, activate boom base perk. And then I have Nox to heal the walls. I have Warden Kyle to heal me. And I have Mega Base Kyle to increase the base connectivity by one tile. Gadgets, Slow Field, and Banner. Let's get onto the traps and weapons I use. We're going to be using the Floor Launcher with these perks. We're going to be using the Wall Launcher with these perks. We're going to be using the Tar Pit with these perks. We're going to be using the Anti Air Trap with these perks. We're going to be using the wall spikes, but hold on. I'm only using this for the increased building health plus 17%. That's the only perk I'm using. Only reason. I'm using the Storm's King's Rass. This is mainly to take out smashers and flingers. Nothing else. Nothing else. And I'm using the Plasma Discharger again to just take out smashers. Literally nothing else. That's literally it. Okay, we are going to be doing the 160 repair the shelter and i wanted a, a really hard mission and we got a, we got a good one we got metal corrosion and wall weakening which is awesome so i'm going to be using brick and i wanted to show you how effective this build is even when you have metal corrosion and wall weakening while using brick let's get into it okay we have made it to the objective now i'm just going to clear out these husks Okay, now you want a pretty straight terrain. Um, if your terrain is really, really bad, I guess you could just back out and reload up the mission until you get a straight terrain. But it's really up to you. But anyways, you want to get out uh, metal, but, you know, because there's metal corrosion, I'm going to use, you know, bricks. So let's build around it like this. And once you get done doing that, you want to go ahead and go two out. So like one, two, one, two, you know, one, two. See how the terrain, is, see how this is built right here? It would be the exact same on this side, but because, you know, the game hates me and you kind of like fucked me over. We're just going to go ahead and probably build a wall right here and I'll just use a wall launcher, like extending it by three, if that makes sense. Okay, now once you get done with that, you want to upgrade all of this to tier level 3. And this will be the only thing, plus the root, this will be the only thing getting to t tier 3. And once you go ahead and do that, you want to go ahead and get out your wood or whatever material that you don't mind wasting and just building uh, ramps like this. All the way around, all the way around. Oh, there's some more husks. This is going to be great. And once you build them all the way around, I'm going to go back here because I'm not trying to deal with them. Uh, once you build them all the way around, you want to go ahead and edit them like this. All the way around. Like a... Now, it would be the same right here. It would, you know, it would be like that, but be, be, I'm just going to, like, block it off because it's kind of not needed. And you don't have to upgrade these. You don't have to upgrade these. Uh, and you want to do it again. You want to do it one more time. Alright, now what I like to do is I like to edit doors right here. Just go all the way around. All right, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead on top of here and build uh, your little platform. But this is the only thing that's also going to get tier 3. Go ahead and put down your base in the middle. Uh, this right here, this brick specifically right here will be tier 3. And that's it. That will be the only tier 3. But while that's upgrading, you want to go ahead and put a ring of wood around this. Just like You don't need to upgrade the wood though, just, just the brick. Now you want a way to get up here. So what I would do... Is this what I usually do? I usually go into some more part of the world. 
it just go like this and then put a thing. So if I want to, I can jump into it and, you know, get in. So. I'm going to go ahead and block this off. Break. And you want to go like this. I usually go boom, 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 and uh, put down a sniper defender. And just like that, we are done with this, and we're done. This is the whole thing and now i know it looks like a lot it looks big and massive but pause it, it it really it really isn't like it really is not and then you just want to go around uh with your wall launcher and just go like this and then the next thing i like to do is grab tar pits and put them right in front of the wall launchers skipping the little corner and what you go to get done with that you want to go to grab your floor launchers and you want to skip the corners, so corner, corner, skip those. Then you want to go ahead and grab your anti-airs, and then put them in the, the corners for um, explodey husks. Now, it, there would be some right here, but because terrain kind of like fucked it up, we're just going to have to put one randomly, let's put one random right here. Okay, now there's one more you want to that that wall spike that gives you plus 17% building health. I don't even think you need that to be honest, but we're gonna like put it anyways because you know it's more wall health. Increase the wall health. Yeah, we are done, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the objective, and I'm gonna go find all these fucking modules, which is gonna take like a hundred years, but it has to be done. All right, we are back, and holy sh that took so long. Okay, now, I forgot to explain this, you know, like, when the video started, or I might have redone the intro and explained it, but the only, um, people you, are the only enemies you have to kill are flinkers and smashers. Let me repeat that one more time. The only enemies or husks you have to kill are flinkers and smashers. Oh, and I'll talk about the mini boss when it when the mini boss spawns. I'll talk about the mini boss. When... There he is. And then the mini boss spawn too. Okay, and that's what I like to do with the mini boss. What I love to do with the mini boss, if it ain't a smasher, is I like to just go ahead and bull rush the mini the mini boss over and over. This is literally what I do. Now you're like, well, what if it's a Smasher mini boss? Well, Smasher mini bosses are way easier to kill, and plasmatic dischargers over and over with the Storm King's Wrath physical will de will destroy. I kill them every time. So let me go in. Oh, I missed. Now, I'm really mad. So in that case, if you do what I just did, like a fuck idiot, you want to go ahead and put down your slope field. So and you want to go ahead and put down your banner too, because. You know, and let me go ahead and get this guy off here. If you wanted to try to make this cheaper. You could, I don't think, you could take out this top row, and take out these chaps, and then go in one. That's, that's, that's hella risky though. I haven't tried it, but hey, it might work. Beat, repair the shelter with this build. I'm telling you, if you use this, you'll be perfectly fine. You'll, if you use the builds and everything, you'll just only got to worry about them smashers. Eh, and then flingers too, but... See y'all in the main lobby. Yeah. I, I did this mission like three times in a row. Just, you know. Oh, I bet y'all love that Tito come outside music, huh? Me too.